So here we are with type 3 hyperlipoproteinemia or familial dysbeta-lipoproteinemia, also known as remnant removal disease or uh, remnant hyperlipidemia. So here, this is a this is an autosomal dominant deficiency of apoprotein E. And uh, that's kind of easy to remember. If you think about just type 3, the 3 kind of looks like that, right? In Roman numeral, just if you draw a line either like this or on the top, you basically got the letter E. It's got those three little prongs, 1, 2, 3, so type 3, E. Also, the 3 kind of looks like a backwards E, right? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so um, apoprotein E, what is it important for? It allows for the clearance of chylomicron remnants, remnants and uh, VLDL remnants, which are IDLs, uh, from the blood. So what's going on if ApoE is deficient? Uh, as far as the pathophysiology goes, if there's less apoprotein E, that means there's going to be less clearance of the chylomicron remnants and IDL from the blood. So those guys will just build up in the blood. So there will be increased chylomicron remnants in the blood and increased IDL in the blood. Basically what's going on is that um, the chylomicron remnants, after the mature chylomicron has the triglycerides cleaved uh, into fatty acids and glycerol, we have the chylomicron rem remnants with the uh, apoprotein E that it needs to use to bind the apoE receptor and subsequently be taken up into the liver. Um, so if that ApoE is not there, then this can't happen, right? This can't bind and none of this will happen, right? It won't be taken up, okay? And so it'll just hang out and just be in the blood, all right? And similarly, VLDLs, um, after VLDLs are, have their triglycerides cleaved into fatty acids and glycerols, we have the, um, the IDL as a product and that IDL uses its apoprotein E and it uses that to bind the ApoE receptor there, and then it can be taken up. But if that ApoProtein E is not there, or if it's deficient, then this is not going to be able to happen. It's not gonna be taken up, and that IDL will just remain in the blood. So those guys can build up in the blood. And that's a, a key feature of this disease.